Okay, gamers and gamettes, what is going on? My name is Tanak127, and welcome back to another Terra console video. And before we get into today's video, guys, as usual, let me go ahead and do my shameless plugins. If you're not, make sure you follow me at the appropriate social media, at Tanak127, which includes Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and also Twitch. That's right, twitch.tv slash Tanak127, where I stream regularly. And not to mention, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on Twitch at 1,000 followers. So make sure you guys are following me there at twitch.tv slash Tanak127. But what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Terra Terra console video and um, today I got some really juicy stuff I want to talk to you guys about and then one of these I'm really 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 late to the party but I didn't want to talk about it in a video until the idea was more out there and public and stuff like that well I mean it's been public but Terra console has a lot of stuff going on with it here at the, um, at the current moment number one we actually have a new dungeon that is coming out tomorrow that I've Want to talk about because I did look up some research on this dungeon compared to it on the PC version, and it looks like this dungeon is very interesting and different. If it's going to be working the same on console now, if I'm wrong about that, please forgive me. Do feel free to correct me down in the comments below because I'm just going by what I see off the dungeon on PC and the little bit of information I get here from the um, from the patch notes and stuff like stuff like that. We also do have a new class coming exclusively to Terra console and there's also going to be some leveling changes coming to the game in this current patch and I have to say even though I don't participate in a lot of the side activities in Terra I mostly just focus on the PvE content in the game I am really keen and excited about this leveling system because I do like how it separates and breaks everything down and stuff like that so the first and foremost thing we're going to go ahead and talk about the new dungeon coming to Terra console the new dungeon is called the Dread Spire now, according to um, what I see from it on PC, it looks like it's some type of um, tower-based challenge. Now, when I say tower-based, it's like a thing you do by floors. Now, I'm not sure if this dungeon is five players, seven players, if it's some type of raid. I'm not 100% sure how it um, how how it works, but I did, I did look it up. Now, the PC version, like I said, is tower-based, and judging by what I see here with the challenge levels, it looks like this one could be too, but... Like I said, if I'm wrong, and if I'm reading this wrong, feel free to correct me down in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the details about this dungeon. Now, the new dungeon, like I said, is called Dread Spire. Um, the patch notes simply say Dread Spire is open. The entry item level is 451. So that's why right, all you boys with the, um, with the top of the line gear right now, this one's for you a brand new challenge. And that's for the first through third challenges. So if that works, how I'm thinking of floors one through th three are for... 451 players um floor um the fourth through six challenges which would be i guess floors four through six are for 453 item level players and floors seven through ninth are for 457 457 challenge fifth through ninth challenges are also included in vanguard requests you can get more xp when completing these and completing other requests the season one of um of this will be starting um, Jan January 7th, a.k.a. Thursday, a.k.a. tomorrow by the time you guys are are watching this um, video. And it will run through February 18th, which is which looks to be the date of the um, of the of the next update. Season one's first clear challenge rewards per each are oh, per each season. Sorry for um, I guess for everyone who clears. Now, I don't know if this is um, it says first clear. So I, I guess if this is um server first or or world first i don't know if everybody gets these or or what it says first clear or if just you know or if you just get these for clearing it on your first time but um for first challenge you get a diamond second challenge you get a diamond third challenge you get a diamond fourth challenge you get two fifth you get two diamonds sixth challenge you get two diamonds but here's where it gets interesting on the seventh challenge you get three diamonds eighth challenge you get four diamonds ninth challenge you get five if they're giving that many diamonds, this dungeon's got to be hard as hell. Oh my god. It also says time and rewards for season two will be announced separately in the coming days. Dreadspire entrance is also located in Westonia, Tempest Reach. Now um that's that's very cool. Like I said, I'm curious to see how this dungeon is going to be. If it's like I said, if it's floor-based, 
similar to PC from, like I said, from the way it sounds, it looks like it's going to be um, on here. Now, I'm assuming Season 2, since this is a floor-based dungeon, I'm guessing Season 2 would add more more floors. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. But let's go ahead and talk about our next topic when it comes into Terra Console. Now, this is the interesting thing I wanted to bring up because, um, like I said, even though I don't really do much PvP in Terra, I'm not really a PvP guy when it comes to MMOs. I've told you guys that in other videos and with other games. But um, when it comes to PvP, life skills, um, hunting and, and, and stuff like that, uh, crafting and everything, they're all going to have their own separate leveling systems to them, which is really cool. Um, it goes to show you here, and I'll put a picture up on the screen. Um, you have an you have an image showing that you now have a level for each category. So you have your basic, you know, your class level, which is your character. This person on on this particular example would be playing a would be playing a ninja. They have a, their their level is sixty five, and you know, it goes to show their item level. But then they have a PvP level, an adventure level, a hunting level, and a life level. Now I'm assuming life level would be for um, Life skills, crafting, gathering, and stuff like that. But here is the interesting thing I um I noticed about this. I look I'm looking at the rewards here on the side. They give you things like money, pearls, and different stuff like that for doing these. So if you're behind in gear, um, for example, or you know, stuff to craft your gear, let's say you need some some extra um gold, or maybe you know you need some more materials and, and stuff like that, depending on the rewards they give here. Do participating in other life skills and things like that in the game may be able to help you, you know, um, get your get your gear score up. Let's say you know you're playing at a weird time of the day. Maybe dungeon cues aren't going your way. Maybe you can go um craft some things, level up your your um your life skill talents a, a little bit, or you know you can go do some. Or it's a time you know where people tend to PvP more. You can go run some PvP matches and rank your PvP up a bit to get some to get some rewards. I do like how they got a little system here that. Seems like it's going to be, you know, trying to um, get people to try out, you know, like different um, different stuff in the game. And I have to say, that's a that's a pretty cool cool rewarding system. You know, anything that can um, that can drive players to uh, to you know to do more activities in the MMO and get rewarded for it for what their main goal is. You know, running the latest and greatest content. Hey, you know, that's um that's fine by me. Now, one thing I would like to see them do more with this kind of reward system is and this will you know help cues even more in the long run let's get a system going that'll encourage veteran players to help out new players maybe you know we can get some type of cue that um where uh where we have to run some of the uh some of the early game trials with you know with newer players and stuff like that and it'll give you some extra gold or something i don't know but i think personally that would help a lot of the cues with you know some of those early game dungeons and and trials and, and things like that, you know, instead of having to stand around at those little nodes and just keep LFGing and plant, hoping a player just happens to walk by and you can snatch them real quick to, to get a run or something like that. That, that. That's just my personal suggestion. You know, queues have gotten a lot better since they've added cross play to the game. I would personally, you know, like to see it go a step up, but that that's just, um, that's just not me. Now, last but not least, um, we have a new class coming to Terra Console, and the cool part is. This class is exclusive to the console version. This class will not be coming to PC from what I know. Now, disclaimer, we do not know what this class is, but all we know is um, on the Discord, and this was months ago, they did open a section for people to submit ideas for the, um, for the new class. And, not, and also, Terra Console recently tweeted on December 30th, a guy named Adam J. Kurtz, who I guess is pretty popular on Twitter, Seeing that he's verified, if um, you know, if me not knowing who he is, <laughs> forgive me for that. Especially if anybody wants to call me out for it, but I have no clue who that person is. He says, "Quote this tweet with your top three personal accomplishments of 2020." And Terra Console goes to tweet: We relaunched Terra on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Series X and S through self-publishing. Two, launch crossplay between our two console platforms and add cross-generation play for our players. Number three, start a development on our newest class for Terra console only. Now, this tells us a few things. Not only do the developers and probably the community manager, aka, a, I believe um, Sarah Monin is currently their, um, their community manager at the moment, but um, 
they know what the class is that they're um that they're doing already and it's already in development now will we see this class in 2021 i don't know <laughs> i have no idea because um you know our good buddy uh pandemic still around lingering and screwing up everything but i do think we'll at least learn something about this class or at least learn what they plan on doing this year but i'm curious to know what would you guys want to see um, as a class and do you guys have any suggestions you know for the developers for building a new class make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below and i also put a link down to the terra console discord if you want to go ahead and toss your feedback in there i don't know if they're still taking submissions because from the way they're talking it's already in development so they know what they're going to do but i would say you know check it out and try nonetheless the section of the discord is still open so I would think, you know, they're still looking at um, players' ideas. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys are all excited for this new content coming to Terra Console. Me, personally, I know I am. I still have a lot of gearing to do. And I look forward to more Terra Console videos. I'll actually be doing one later next week showing Terra Console not only in 2021, but also showing you guys my per current progress and status in the game right now, which is I think is going to be a... Really awesome experience to share with you guys. But anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.